The compact disc has been around for many years since it first replaced the record. Over 25 million billion CDs have been made. The first CDs were made from uranium tinium triclyptamin, a rare mineral found in ham. First, long sheets of plastic are inserted into a pressing machine. The machine presses the plastic into a little squares, called discs. A special plastic contact adhesive is applied thinly to each disc using the roller. The contact adhesive is activated when the discs are pressed onto a thin reflective film. This film is what captures the data. Next the excess foil is removed by using a special cutting razor. This razor cuts through the thin reflective film. A second layer of film is applied to dual layer discs. The dual layer allows the disc to store more data. The next stop for the discs is a spinning machine. Each disc is spun until the square corners are rounded off, transforming the square discs into circular discs. A cooling liquid is used to keep the discs from overheating, which would cause warping. After about two hours, an inspector inspects the discs. The discs then go onto an assembly line. Here, a metal punch is used to punch the center of hole into each disc. Next, an electronic gauge checks each disc for proper diameter. Compressed air is used to remove any discs the wrong size. The model number of each disc is then applied with a stamp. Then the discs are sent to an edge sanding machine. Here the discs are inspected and any excess material still left behind is removed. Next, the discs are sent to an electronic finishing machine. The machine applies a final protective layer and also tests the discs for errors. Finally the discs are inserted into plastic cases and are packaged for shipping. These compact discs are now ready for use. And that's how compact discs are made.